So here's the before shot. It's really not a bad sound, but just not a great sound. Okay, so now that I got the pipe nice and hot, let's see if I can uh, tear this thing apart. give a quick update <clears throat> it's a little hard to see but where these two pipes to come together and where they join via this two to one fitting right here it's so tight of a tolerance that the individually wrapped pipes create a gap that's too big so I had to strip it back to about here and then I'm gonna wrap double to where the uh, muffler actually goes on but yeah, it's not that difficult, but nothing's ever easy. died on the other camera but ended up finishing it really not that complicated but uh, getting the wrap on there was honestly the hardest part hardest part sorry but yeah needs to be cleaned up a bit that uh, fiberglass wrap or whatever it's made out of it says titanium which must be baloney uh, just gets everywhere because you have to get it wet, so it's more malleable. But uh, yeah, pretty stoked. I think it looks good. Um, of course, I can't actually ride it for 24 hours until it uh, all of the glue and everything is uh, fixed and dry. So I'll wait for that tomorrow. Today was unbelievably nice, considering it's January. But uh, yeah, tomorrow, get all my batteries fresh and take this thing for a ride. Unfortunately, it says not to take the baffle out until uh, you can get it dyno tuned. So we'll see if I do that or not. But uh, yeah, okay, see you tomorrow for a ride. So it's the next day. I was promised really good weather today and we got this like inversion layer uh, kind of screwed me but uh, I am gonna force myself to go for a ride finish this little video and uh, yeah let's see how this thing goes Good. Okay, we are still smoking off a little bit here and there. In there and uh, yeah let's do some first impressions of riding this thing the new exhaust hopefully uh, nothing goes drastically wrong here okay 
okay. Immediately notice that it's actually got a exhaust on it that makes noise instead of the stock one, which sounds like a Vespa. About these triumphs is uh, at least this year it just has a warning light for when you are low on gas and uh, I think it's probably supposed to be similar to the reserve tank in the older models which I have and uh, with the reserve tank I think you have a little over a gallon left which is still like 50 miles of riding and then with this one, it comes a light comes on there, and uh, I don't even know what that's supposed to mean, really. Maybe a gallon left. I've never pushed it to the brink, but uh, I will eventually here because I want to get a gas tank, a uh, what are they called? Roto packs, extra gas tank mounted on the side, possibly on the left, and then we push it so it runs out of gas and I'll fully know what the range of this thing is. You know what, I think I'm going to get gas first, just in case we actually end up riding a good distance. Alright, I don't know if I'm crazy, but it kind of seems like it's more powerful. I don't think it really is because I haven't retuned the engine or anything, but uh, maybe it's because I haven't ridden it in a while, but it feels good. It feels good. Help this thing run a little bit better too. Oh yeah. So nice to hear the engine. Oh, man, I have no idea where to go. It's green this way. Tell you what, it sounds pretty darn good considering it's still got the baffle in there. And uh, I don't know how loud you necessarily need the bike to be, but if it doesn't backfire anymore, that could have just been a little built up gas in there from sitting in the garage. If it doesn't backfire anymore, then I might just leave the baffle in and leave the ECU as it is now, but it's hard not to want your bike to run as good as possible, so I'll probably end up getting it tuned eventually. Okay, one last attempt at this. Now my iPhone has completely pooped out. This camera is soaking wet from all the fog. Uh, what I thought was going to be a real easy video is just like slowly dying here. But uh, anyway, motorcycle's awesome. Really stoked on the way it came out. Looks good, sounds good, even with the baffle. I swear it feels more powerful. Even in fifth gear, I'm feeling like it's pulling harder. So uh, pretty darn pleased. Feels good on the leg. I can't feel it in the way. I mean, even with the stock one, you could feel it more. So this one's definitely less intrusive. And yeah, I mean, it looks good. Pretty stoked on it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I can't wait for spring. I'm gonna do a bunch of camping videos and hopefully get this thing set up with an extra um, gas tank, gas can, and
and get my uh, fly rod on there and go do some camping and fishing and motorcycling and exploring and it should be a good time. So thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, let me know.